right? If you were going to sit down and have some beef, uh, and hypothetically you could only choose one, would you balance it with calcium, balance it with gelatin, or would you drink coffee to inhibit the iron absorption? I, I would um, uh, drink milk or uh, uh, eat eggshells or something. I, I think balancing the, the phosphate uh, 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 would, would have priority. And, and then hypothetically, the, the second choice after the calcium. I'm taking aspirin to uh, uh, limit uh, the uh, iron absorption, uh, coffee and aspirin. Uh, part of their uh, benefit is they help to uh, uh, reduce your uh, iron load. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right, there, it is very popular to talk about iron right now, but one of the things that is not mentioned, and I know you've done a lot of work on it, maybe we could just uh, talk about it quickly because I've kept you for two hours, but the estrogen and the hypoxia and the the low thyroid increasing the estrogen and and promoting the hypoxia that is what's making the iron accumulate and displace the copper it's not it's not just a right like this random iron overload situation is that right um, uh, yeah uh, people have been uh, animals uh, as well as people have been tested uh, the the amount of estrogen present in pregnancy uh, causes a, an extreme increase in the efficiency of uh, iron absorption and retention. Uh, and uh, the, everything that estrogen does uh, uh, tells your body that uh, something is wrong with your respiration system. Uh, and uh, so it, uh, it increases your ability to retain uh, iron as if that's going to fix the the respiratory system, but uh, in fact, it uh, reaches a point where it uh, starts uh, competing with copper uh, and uh, aging the system, uh, uh, creating uh, stress uh, that uh, subtracts copper from your system. So the iron overload is actually hyperestrogenemia. Is that right to say? Um, it, I think so in, in most cases. And, and then... If the iron saturation is high, it's acceptable to give blood, given that's not a terrifying event, but, but aspirin and focusing on the dairy, that's a long-term solution. Um, uh, yeah, it's going to work uh, pr pretty quickly, though. Uh, 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 your, your turnover of cells, if your metabolic rate is high, uh, you're sloughing off uh, a lot of skin and hair and uh, intestinal uh, lining. Uh, that takes uh, iron out uh, every day. Uh, so if you keep your your milk uh, to meat ratio high uh, and have some aspirin and, and coffee to uh, restrict the uh, absorption of any iron that is in your food, uh, it, you'll steadily uh, get rid of the iron. What about people that have donated, like, many, many, many times throughout the year. Like, what, what is wrong with them? Like, like, I, for, like uh, hemochromatosis, I've read about people that give, like, blood every week for, like, a year. Like, how is that possible? If they're absorbing it very efficiently, or if their liver and marrow were really stuffed with iron, it can take, take a lot of... Uh, elimination to, to get the level down. So, so maybe their estrogen was just off the charts in, in childhood or, or something like that? Uh, uh, yeah, it, you, you can carry around a lot of iron uh, without any symptoms mm -hmm. uh, uh, as long as you're in a, a good uh, oxidizing state that, that doesn't uh, activate it and uh, start the free radical process.